would have told me years back that Sonic the Hedgehog would be the one to get video game films right, I, I don't think I would have believed you for a second. Especially when the blue blur doesn't have the most successful track record when it comes to his video game outings. But here we are, on the tail's end of 2021, there was a pun there, and we're going to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 2, specifically the first trailer. Before going into this breakdown, I should point out I have two generations of Sonic fans living in my house. There's me, the OG fan who grew up on the original Sonic games. I'm young and in touch. And then there's my young son who kind of became a big fan on his own. I showed him like one or two of the games and he just went all in on Sonic. We have all the comic books, he's played all the games he can get his hands on, and of course we own and he's watched the first movie a million times. So there's two people in this household that were very interested in this sequel and what it has to offer. Let's find out. Okay, so the trailer starts- what? One of Sonic's buddies that for some reason is a bat with big boobs? Rogue? Or Rouge? I think it's Rouge. I never really cared for the Sonic Friends lineup. I was always just a Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow's fine. As long as he has his gun and he's shooting people, he's cool in my book. And his motorcycle. Anyway, what do you want? Oh, I'm supposed to tell people that they should subscribe to this channel, Adam Does Movies, as I put out content constantly. Thanks, furry bad girl, that's a poor attempt at a Lola bunny from Space Jam. Get the hell out of my office. Wow. These first opening seconds are not exciting. They look like every single Sony produced movie that's come out lately. This is straight up into the Spider-Verse right now. Every single Sony trailer starts with a dark cityscape and Spider-Man jumping from the top, but what? Big the cat. Why are all you characters coming into my studio? This isn't a Sony film? Oh, it's Paramount. Okay, that makes more sense of this next scene where James Marston's character Tom says, what are you, Batman going around in the city? He's clearly Spider-Man. He does the same pose off the building as into the Spider-Verse. He's quipping, he's telling jokes. Come on, Batman. We then get some tease shots of Dr. Robotnik, AKA Eggman coming back to Earth. He was sent off to a different planet at the end of the first. There's a giant CG tornado lightning thing going on. We're not sick of this yet. Okay, listen, I enjoy the first Sonic the Hedgehog. I think it's a fun, silly little film for the whole family. Is it doing anything groundbreaking? No. Is it copying a ton of different films? Absolutely. This looks to be doing the exact same thing, which is a bit of a shame because I thought because of the success of the first film, they would go a little bit more wild with things, maybe go off earth, or just be a little less samey than the same crap we've seen time and time again. But it's just a trailer. Maybe the final product will wow me. It's not going to, but at least it'll be serviceable, right? And at this point, that's all we're looking for. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? I want to point out Sonic says an Oprah joke that went over my son's head. He's nine, doesn't know who Oprah is. Maybe that's bad parenting? I, I don't know. But weird, weird joke to throw in. Let's keep going. Ben Schwartz is great as Sonic, but the real draw is right here for me, and that's Jim Carrey as Robotnik. He's back, he's got a brand new stash, as he points out. A literal mustache. Uh, he's still not rocking the pouch that Homer Simpson got that Robotnik has. I'm okay with it. Kind of like a skinny Robotnik. He's a little more threatening to me. I don't know why. Hope I'm not too late. Here we are, everyone's favorite little sidekick, Tails Miles Prower. Pun, pun is just timeless. And I read on the internet somewhere, which makes it true, that he's voiced by the video game voice actress, Colleen O'Shaughnessy. That might not be even close to how the name's pronounced, but I don't claim to be good at this stuff. I'm just reporting on it. I noticed the trailer has a lot of references to the game. We have Tails' iconic plane. We have that gorgeous Chaos Emerald here. It doesn't look like Sonic's gonna have to track down the individual ones. The whole thing is already intact. Robotnik's using it as a source of power. There's a montage of a lot of things going on. It looked like there's locales from Sonic Adventure. I noticed the snowboarding's back from both Sonic Adventure and Sonic 3, I believe or it's Sonic and Knuckles. I think it's Sonic 3 though. You can even hear the pinball noises as he bounces off the walls. Ding, 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 ding. And then we end the trailer with the new antagonist, Knuckles. I have a couple crazy guesses as to what's going on here. Either A, Knuckles is being tricked by Robotnik into thinking Sonic is a threat, or B, he's being blackmailed. He needs to work with Robotnik in order to save a family or who knows, his planet, it doesn't matter. Either way, Sonic and Knuckles are buddying up at the end of this film. They're gonna work together with Tails. They're gonna have a, the holy trinity of moments where 
Knuckles is gonna drop down with his fists and the other two are there and it's gonna pan in and Zack Snyder's gonna direct this scene. It's gonna have some explosive music remixing Sonic Adventure 2's main theme with that of a Hans Zimmer joint. The second incredibly wild prediction is that Sonic is in fact gonna go Saiyan mode. He's gonna go Super Sonic in this. We're gonna see the blue blur now yellow. Do I think we're gonna get hypersonic in this? No, I don't think we're gonna get hypersonic in this one, fans. And I'm not making that up. Hypersonic is a thing. I learned about it because of my son. The vast amounts of knowledge his young mind could sponge up is being wasted on Sonic trivia. Just like his old man, he's shitting away his young mind and replacing what could be useful facts about the world with Facts about Pokemon, or the names of most of the mutants in the X-Men universe. Why do I know this stuff? Why do I know Sonic has a character named Yogurt the Bunny? Yet I'd have a hard time listing all the states in America. Let's move on, let's press on. Final takeaway from this trailer, I really like the logo. I like, uh, it's got the Sonic for the C, and then we got the two with the tails at the end. It's nice. The music being used, however, not great. Pretty generic stuff. First impressions from this trailer? Looks to be about on par with the first. I'm not seeing anything too wildly different or uh, really that exciting. I think it'll probably be another fun family film. I don't think they're gonna screw this one up like a lot of sequels have to kids' films. Uh, I think Sing 2 comes out soon. Although to be fair, I didn't think Sing 1 was very good. And Trolls World Tour I never saw, but that, that just looked atrocious. When my kids don't even like it, that's, that's, that's telling. That's troubling. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Sonic 2 trailer. Let me know what you have to say. Did you like all the game references? Did you uh, think that they did Knuckles justice? Whatever that means. Well, good news. There's a spot you can put those thoughts right in the comments below. Thanks again for what? what's that? Vector the Crocodile, another character from the stunning universe of Sonic. You want people to subscribe. Well, I was already told by the big titted uh, bat thing to have people subscribe earlier, but I'll say it again. Subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of fun here and we could sure use some more support. I don't know why I'm saying we, it's just me. I run this alone, but I feel like we're a family. Those that have stuck around for the trials and tribulations of the channel. All right, see you later. Hey, since you're still here, go ahead and hit the notification bell so these videos show up right in your feed. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's a tier at just $1 where you can really show your support and say, Adam, I like what you're doing, and I love that you just did the theme song of the original game. dun 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 dun